Hey everybody, how's it going? Do you ever have certain feelings when you look at your phone and you see a new message or a phone call and you see a name? What comes up when you see that name? Do you think, this is great, I can't wait to speak to this person because they're going to have good news for me, or oh, I know that this person is just going to have, so they're going to take some tiny issue and blow it up into a big issue and it's going to be a lot of miserable, high-maintenance crap, you know, just speaking for an hour over something that shouldn't be a problem. Do you feel like you're speaking to someone who is trying to get something out of you? Every time they call you, there's always that ulterior motive, and you're just waiting to get to that part in the conversation where it, we start talking about what you need from me. Do you feel like you're speaking to someone who protects you, who the only time they contact you is when something really bad is happening, and they're trying to fix it for you, and they're telling you how they're fixing it for you? Uh, one of the things that I've realized over the past few years is that when I get a phone call or I get a text message, I'll often react to that initial feeling rather than just use that as a means of figuring out if this is a healthy relationship for me to be in, whether it is a worker, a friend, uh, you know, vendor, boss, anything like that. If I am getting a call and I think this person is calling to like catch me off guard and try and, you know, rile me up or something, I'll think, well, okay, life to, let me be on guard. Let me make sure that that doesn't happen. Instead of just not picking up the phone. And, um, you know, if, if I'm dealing with someone who is incredibly high maintenance, who takes the smallest issues and turns them into gigantic issues all the time, I'll, th I'll be in a mode of, okay, I have to figure out how I'm going to calm this person down and how I'm going to deal with the issue and how I'm going to talk to the people in the area. You know, how, like, like, let me get myself in a problem solving mode rather than get myself into, isn't there someone else who can do what you do mode? Um, there's this saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. And I think that whatever f the feeling is that you have, the, rea the guttural reaction you have to seeing someone's name show up on your screen when the ringtone shows up on your phone, is uh, that's worth, in my opinion, 10,000 pictures. That feeling that you have when you see new text message, this person, new phone call, this person, missed call, this person. How do you feel? How does that person make you feel? And are you continuing the relationship based on how it makes you feel? Because I'm just thinking about this today, like going back 12 years, how much better my life would have been if I dealt with the relationships I were in based on that gut feeling, that gut reaction I had when I looked at their name showing up on my phone, I would have saved myself a really a lot of hassle, aggravation, heartache, and, uh, and misery. And I've noticed that with a lot of the time and effort that I'm putting into a lot of the things that I'm doing right now, one of the things that's kind of been forcing me to do that is the realization that I don't actually have the time to manage whatever is on the other end of a call when I have that sinking feeling, when I see their name show up that worried feeling when I see their name show up, that I have a problem I now have to solve feeling when I see their name show up, that on guard feeling that I have when I see a name show up where it's like, what is this person going to try to convince me into? What do they want to convince me to do? What, am, what are they trying to get out of me with this call? There's so many different feelings that I have for many of the names that I have shown up repeatedly for the past 12 years. I really wish I was more trusting of that. And I really wish that I had made my decisions based on that feeling I get when I see an incoming call on my phone. I'm kind of curious what you all think of this. Do you have people in your life where you just like you look at the phone and you have a gut reaction, you have a gut feeling, but for some reason you just don't act on it where, you know, it's like, oh God, I have to, man oh, what, what are they going to be complaining about? And you pick up and there's a complaint, but you pick up and you get yourself in the mode to deal with a complaint rather than in the mode to have, how do I replace you or get you out of my life so I don't have that sinking feeling when I see that you're contacting me anymore? One thing that I realized recently is that when I pick up the phone and I see that it's someone where I feel defensive or I feel like I have to be on guard or I feel like I am managing a prima donna, I often 
really put a lot of thought into how to handle that conversation because it's hard. Whereas when I pick up the phone and it's someone who is uh, someone who is always looking out for my best interest, is trying to protect me from bad things, is someone who you know makes me feel like I have someone in my corner on my side, I don't put as much time into those people as I do the people that give me the sinking feeling. And that's something that I kind of want to correct going forward. It's a little bit less of the people that give the sinking feeling, a little bit more of the people that where when I see their name on the screen, it's like, oh, cool. I'm happy they're calling me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.